In this video, we'll show you how to wrap up and complete the course. To complete a course on the Adobe Education Exchange, you'll need to complete all the workshops and weekly assignments, submit a final assignment, and comment and rate on three other final assignments. So here we are on the course homepage for the course that I'm enrolled in, and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down and confirm that I've completed all of the workshops and the weekly assignments. So you can see here weeks one through eight are all marked completed with the big green check mark. When that happens, when all of those weeks are completed, I will then be able to see the final assignment details and the button to submit my final assignment. So let's go ahead and submit the final assignment. The final assignment is a little bit different than the weekly assignments that you've been completing. This format is in the format of a resource on the Education Exchange, so there's a little bit more details that you're going to want to provide here. First, I will enter my title and my description. I'll add the subjects that this is related to. In my case, this is a uh, photography and video and audio subject. Uh, the grade levels. I'm going to be teaching to college and university folks, but you can select any grade level you'd like. The products, I'm using Photoshop, and then you can add up to 10 keywords. Let's add video editing as one of my keywords. And then you can select a Creative Commons license. I'm going to select the attribution non-commercial share, like once you select a license you can read more about it. And I'll click Save and Continue. Here I can enter a featured image if I'd like. I'm not going to do that now. I could enter a uh, JPEG, a GIF file, or a PNG file. Um, any of those will work, but I'm just going to skip that. It's not required. I'm going to add the file for my final assignment by clicking Add a File. I'm going to choose the file. Go to Final Assignment. My PD this is a PDF file. <clears throat> you can add any of these accepted file formats. I'm also going to enter a title for this file. I'll just enter final assignment and then you'll see the upload now button become active. I just clicked OK and then it uploaded the file. You can see it was added down here. I could also add a video uh, where you add the title of the video and then the embed path of the video itself. Those videos can only be accepted from YouTube, Vimeo, TED, or Adobe TV. Or I could have added a web link, which is again just the title and then the link to the web resource. And that also would get added here under my files to be uploaded. But for net, for this assignment, all I need is a PDF file, so I've added that. I could, I could delete it if I wanted to, but I'm all set, so I'm going to click continue. And then there's a bit more additional information that you can add if you'd like to. Uh, content standards. There are a bunch of different options under here. I'm just going to leave this blank for now. I could add, this is a custom standards text field. I could add some related resources. I can say how long this would take. This is about a day, so I'm going to select that. And you can select the technical expertise. For this one is just a novice, so I'll select a novice. And then I could add materials and equipment if I wanted to. All of this information is very useful, but none of it is required. So feel free to add what makes sense for your particular assignment. And then I'm going to click Save and Publish. I remember I can always go back and edit this. And this will take me back to the course homepage. On the homepage, I can scroll down and confirm that I can view my final assignment. It was submitted on the date that it was submitted. So the only thing left for me to do is to rate and comment on three other final assignments. This is the same process as rating and commenting on the weekly assignments, so I'm not going to review how to do that here. I've jumped ahead and completed my rating and commenting on the three final assignments, so now I've completed all of the requirements for this course. Just to confirm, I'm going to go back over to my learning, and I can see under my current courses the course that I'm enrolled in that I'm seeing all of my assignments are complete, including the final assignment. And up in the top here, I can see that my assignment is under review as the overall status for the course. The instructors will review your assignment, and you'll be notified by email of your completion status within two weeks of the date that the course closes. All enrollees who have passed the course will be granted the course badge on their profile and get a certificate that serves as evidence of completion of the course. Best of luck as you wrap up the course.